With human conversations, uh, they are uh, tend to be fast paced, go off in different directions, um, and that's part of, of what's enjoyable about them. But um, in a when you're not using verbal communication, you're using AAC, this can pose certain challenges. So some examples of these challenges are if somebody asks you to repeat yourself after you've just cleared the message from your uh, speech display bar. Um, some of the apps have an undo button to allow you to quickly bring back the message that you've just cleared, which can be very helpful. Other times you just want to repeat yourself. So there might be something in particular that's on your mind that day that you want to say to multiple people and you don't want to type that out every time. So some of the apps have a history section or a chat history, um, which will just automatically save the messages that you've been typing. So if you think I've already said that today, you might be able to find it in there and then say it again without having to retype it. Another challenge can be letting people know that you're about to say something, uh, signalling that you're composing a message and not just looking at your screen for another reason. Um, some of the apps or devices have settings to help you to manage this um, and this is sometimes called hold the floor. Using hold the floor is when the communication aid speaks aloud a message to let the person you're talking to know that you're in the middle of saying something and that they need to wait. So, communication aid could say something like this. Thanks for waiting. Some people find this feature really helpful and other people don't like to use it. It's just a matter of personal choice. So, if you are going to use it, there's two ways of making it happen. So, the first is if you press a button on the screen like this. Hang on a minute. And that's a bit more in your control because it's only going to happen when you press the button. The other way is when you've got it set to automatically go off while you're typing and I'll demonstrate that now. Please wait while I type my message. I'm going as fast as I can. Thanks for waiting. Last night I saw my grandkids. So you might have noticed that there was a few different messages being said aloud there by the com computer. Um, it does depend on what app you're using, how much choice you have about that. So um, there might be the option to choose what messages are said aloud. Some give you the choice over what voice they're said aloud in or how often they're said. You can set the frequency. So if you are going to use a hold the floor, then it's worth having a play around in the settings so you can get it how you want it. One challenge with AAC can be managing multiple conversations or when someone interrupts you. So um, some of the apps have come up with clever ways of storing a message when you're part way through um, and then you're able to switch between two conversations. One example would be if I was typing a message. Someone asked me a question like, which carer is coming on shift tonight? I want to answer that question straight away, so I'm going to store this message by pressing this button here. And then I can quickly answer that question. Sam. And then I can go back to where I was. Where have you been today? That question. 